There's no taste for bad taste when it comes to French design. At least that's the idea behind VIA's 40th anniversary exhibition, showcasing dozens of design masterpieces that embody the values of French design. Come along as we talk with the creative minds behind the installation and learn how they continue Art de Vivre. I'm Kendall Zaffa and this is Editor TV. Can you tell us what the inspiration was for No Taste for Bad Taste? The idea of this exhibition was to show what the French design is right now, the contemporary French design. So we organized a think tank uh, with uh, 40 different people from design, uh, from art, and asked them, what is uh, your idea of French design? Can you talk a little bit about the art de vivre and why it's so important to French culture? Art de vivre is important everywhere, I think. That art de vivre is more the way of a statement, like how you want to experience things and locally and be connected to what is around you. It's a design with poetry inside. So if you are living with something with poetry, you are feeling better. And perhaps if you are feeling better, you can give to the other better things. What does Made in France mean to you and what type of values do you think it brings to design? We are the last rugs and carpets manufacturer producing 100% in France. Wow. So it's very important and we are totally transparent with that. And uh, the designers they like it because they can come to develop their project with us at the workshop. The values around the Made in France is to make the tradition become a modernity. The style, the French style, is based on savoir-faire, which is the way you are doing things, where you have learned it from your ancestors, and where you're going to transmit it to the new generation. So you just moderated a wonderful panel on what is so special about French design. So we have to ask the question, what is so special about French design? I think that probably the thing most people would point to is the heritage. So going back to the 17th and 18th century, the great cabinet makers, the tapestry workshops, the metal workers, and of course a lot of those trades are still practiced today in France. So a lot of the panel was devoted to that subject, to the way that contemporary companies are looking back at this historic tradition. Heritage I think is very important because in a company like us, for instance, where we are constantly trying to innovate, we still need artisans that are using the old techniques. If not, you can't really go the next step and try to innovate in your own craft. Can you tell us a little bit about your vignette? The Plume Sofa by the Burulek brothers is a good example of actually what we present in non-conformism, which you can see this is not your standard two-seater. It's meant to hug you, it's meant to give you that comfort and really relax you. So why was it so important to be a part of this exhibit? I feel very proud to be part of it because also the, the other title of this exhibition is a 40 icon of uh, French design. So when I received this proposition, I felt uh, like part of something. So I would say like this exhibition is uh, not only about French design, but also about uh, Europe. So Bernard, why was it so important to be a part of this exhibit here? We have uh, long links between uh, France and the uh, United States, but you need to support the links if you want them to, to go on and uh, to continue. And uh, ICFF is a wonderful uh, exhibition, so showing the French culture, French design, well, that's the reason why we are here. We have a big heritage and it's nice to live with this culture, so we are here to make it known. Thanks for joining us for a tour of VIA's Lay Design exhibit here at ICFF. For Editor TV, I'm Kendall Zappa, and we'll see you next time.